folks, welcome back. We're doing uh, a White Stripes tune, Black Math, and it was requested by Tom Shaw over at Patreon. Thanks indeed for your support, Tom. If you don't know what Patreon is, check it out in the link below. Really is essential support for keeping these lessons free for you all. So some nice tones in this one. Um, my clean tone, just no pedals, is my usual clean tone, right? I'm using my Morgan MVP 66. Um, and these, I think, are fairly semi-high output pickups. Um, but I'm going to use my Boss uh, BP1W to boost it. So I'm using the RE side of it just to add a little bit of grit. Because it's quite a gnarly tone, isn't it? So I'd go for something just light gain to break that up. And then I'm using a, a big muff style fuzz. I'm using the Jupiter FX Wallow. On top of that, right? I'm using that for the solo too. But another thing is you're gonna need to be able to do the old. to do some of that Tom Morello stuff aren't we now to be able to get that you're going to need a kill switch on your guitar this is the uh, Gibson Les Paul modern light I'm borrowing from Gibson thanks chaps um, now you need I've got two volume controls here right um, one for bridge pickup one for neck pickup if you turn down all the way down the neck pickup no sound right only sound when you're on the bridge pickup so when you go between the two In fact, you can leave it in middle position, actually. Still no sound, right? Then you can get that effect, okay? So let's kick things off with the first riff. The intro um, is really cool. And note that the feel of this is like a shuffle feel. In the solo, it does veer in from shuffle to straight, actually. So just be aware of that. But for the most part, this is going... <laughs> Like that, right? Note that sort of lilt. It's got that vibe, okay? So. Super important to be able to nail this. And that is not terribly easy. Um, what, one thing you can do, I would recommend, is getting a lighter gauge pick. Uh, that can help. Or just, you know, relaxing your right hand. But you're going to be able to have to move between these chords quite quickly. You can either do this. You're going from a C to a G, basically. With a little whack in between each as you... As you, you know, switch between the two, right? So... Entirely up to you what you go for in terms of your, your fingering here. I'm going to use my usual power chord shape, which is first and fourth. Just switch it between the two. It's nice and easy then because it's quite quick. That's as quick as you're going to need to do it, right? So the first two would be... So I'm squeezing down my fingers and then I'm just lightly taking them off. Not right the way off the fretboard. They're just going to cover all the strings right then you move down one string and with that upstroke again you're doing that little mute okay so it's just that so those four eighth notes then just repeat around uh, another four times up to the a right so we're on the fifth fret now And that is it. That's the intro. Um, essentially, it's the verse as well, but it kind of flips around. So let me play it one more time round to speed. Mm -hmm. 
do it like that if you wanted or one thing you could do is that I like to do that so you're just basically leaving your little finger in situ but you know pick one that you like and stick with that then after four times right of that the verse goes Okay, um, it is tricky at that speed to keep it uh, with that that shuffle rhythm. It does get tricky. What you'll hear going from the intro into the verse is hanging on that for four bars essentially. So this is the last time of the intro before the verse. Okay, so we have. you go into that right so that is it um in a nutshell the verse goes around twice then you go to these chords and then you stay on that for four bars so we've got e major to g a to c to a there's an eight bar phrase okay but you could put in some rhythmic stuff with and then into that right so up to you what you do there I won't worry too much I would just do I would just do that two strikes back into you know into that so you go back around the verse again then put your fuzz on and then it goes into like a half time feel so we've got this okay so we've got um, a full bar and then you play another five. A rest, and then you go to the D, so you're shifting your fingers up one string. And you just pull it ever so slightly sharp. Okay, so you just pull it. You don't even need to do the, the uh, root if you don't want. But I think your fingers will naturally do that. And that's it, that's super easy, right? Awesome, fun to play. You're going to play that 12 times. Then we go into this. And then into the double time feel again. And then we're into the solo, okay? So same chords as the turn around before. E, G, A, D. But you're going to do um, a you know, stab on each beat. go back into the like that right so you already know that solo is cool so we do this at the beginning so you're gonna let this ring out for two bars like that but you're gonna do some toggly toggly stuff right so we have you got that going on right So one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, two. All right. Oops. Again. Now for this bend, because it stretches over three bars, you're probably going to want to re-pick it, which I think is what Jack does. So you got this. At the end as well. That. Then you've got some more bends going on on the 19th fret, all on the uh, G string. And that goes something like this. And then... That stuff going on right. So again, slowly. 
then repeat again. And then we have... So I'm just adding my little finger on the 20th fret there. For that one. And then we have... So it'll be... That stuff, right? This bit's cool, but it's quite quick. Like that. Like that, and then we've got... Lovely little half step bend there, isn't it? Again. Awesome. Um, I think we've got an octave pedal kicking in here for this part. And then with the octave off we have... Again. Lovely. And then we have a bit of a noise there, really. I think that's a half step bend there. So we have two full step bends. I think that's a half step bend, that one. So. Then we get down to the seventh fret. You always get a really nice amount of sustain with the big muff style pedals. So again. So one, two, three, release. One, two, release. And then. But you're gonna do some more, some more toggly toggly. So we have. Okay, and again. Remember, because it's got that triplet feel, right? Then we go up to the 19th fret again with. Bit of Jimi Hendrix. Now, this bit's cool because you're going to be playing and toggling at the same time. So I think the rhythm would be. With the toggle you'd have so that's a half step bend and then you come in with the toggle and as you bend you do uh, one on each beat so slowly we'd have Speed. Something along those lines, right? Then we've got the outro verse. So the big muff comes off there and we've got... Then we go into this turnaround part, but this time we're going to play it twice. do this um, four times and you're done so it's a bar of and then five more rest for beat and a half okay do that four times and then end with and that is it you're done hope you all enjoyed that one See you again soon.